Hey, what's up everyone? It's Spades here with another Overwatch guide. Today I'll be going over some Winston tips and concepts. So without further ado, let's get to this thing. So as always, playing on the main tank roll, you do need to have a mic. This is because you need to be as vocal as possible, calling the engages, targets, rotations, all that type of stuff, as well as making sure your off tank is with you. So you can get that matrix on the dive since you're very vulnerable, as well as your DPS to follow up with you for that extra damage. So the easiest way to do this is to give a location and the target that you want to dive so for example let's say Hana is playing like top right like hey can we dive on a top right are you guys ready three two one go so then that allows you to make sure everyone that uh, needs to be with you is with you as well as giving them ample time to say hey i'm not ready can you you know give me a second i need to get set up or wait for cooldowns stuff in that like nature so make sure you're always giving a location and the target that um, you want to dive so next we'll go into some mechanics so you want to play high ground as much as possible this allows you to contest space while not endangering yourself and a chance to drop on the back line or whatever target you want to focus without using your jump so you can use it to escape um, this is because you always want to use your cooldowns with a purpose uh, for example, like, you know, your jump, your bubble, because you're very vulnerable when these abilities are not up. So make sure you want to take the least amount of damage um, before engaging and keep try and keep all your abilities that you need. All right, so the first of Winston's abilities that I'll be going over is his jump. So you always want to combo your melee with your jump whenever you're landing. Make it a habit because it's just free damage and gives that extra burst damage to be able to kill a target. Don't be alarmed if you don't see the punch come off. Um, after you jump, if you do it right, the animation cancel is not going to show the punch animation, but just, the damage is still going to be there. So don't think, oh shit, I didn't like you know punch or it didn't work. It does. It still shows up no matter what. It's just if you do it, you can land punch. It, either way, it's going to do the damage. So don't be, you know, don't be like oh I messed up if you don't see the punch because it still does the damage there. Um, don't use your jump just because it's off a of cooldown. This is probably one of your most like important abilities uh, as Winston, so only use it to engage, escape, get high ground. Other than that, try not to use it since you want to have it up um, on cooldown for those purposes. Also, people who don't know, you can short jump using your S key or whatever your backwards uh, movement key is. This is so you can be able to control your jumps when engaging how far or short you, know, you want to jump. So you can jump super far. Or if you're holding down the S key as you are jumping, you're, you know, you can let go of it, go as far, and you can pretty much gauge how far you want to go that way. So paired with your jump is your engage and target calling. Um, when you're jumping, you always want to get a location, like I was saying before, of the person you want to dive and give that 3-2-1 count. Then right after the uh, target said, instantly follow up with another target that your team should be focusing on. If you go and you call a target, you know, on a, on a one, two, three, like three, go. And then after you kill her, it's just quiet. Your team's not gonna know what to do and everybody's gonna split onto different targets. So right after, you know, you get a target, kill it, be like, okay, next, uh, go Mercury, go Mercury, you know, left side main or, you know, left side high ground, something like that. You just give a next target location and uh, person that your team should be focusing on. This way, everybody is staying like, you know, cohesive, moving as a unit, killing the same target. Um, because as Winston, you don't have that high like burst amount of damage. But if everybody's on the same target, then everything's gonna die really fast, and you can just move instantly, 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 instantly to the next targets, and you know have a really uh, clean dive. All right. So in this clip, I just want you guys to pay attention to the target calling that I did and how fast we swap targets. I have soldier. You use heal. Yeah, yeah. I'm pushing up on Diva. I'm on Diva right now. Three. I'm still on Diva, Winston. Winston jumped. Winston. Where was he? Where was he? I'm almost on. I'm almost on. I'm almost on. Winston one dead. Go to Diva next. Diva next. Diva next. Mercy, come down. Mercy, come down. Mercy, come down. Mega, mega, mega. Who's our side? Mega, our side, mega. Mercy and mega. I'm on her right now. She's she's dead. Winston next. Focus, Winston, our mega. Winston two. Winston, get Winston, get Winston. Kill Winston first. Then go to Soldier. He's bridge, bridge. He's one dead. Nice, you guys. So a good rule of thumb when choosing which target you want to engage on is you want to pick targets that have the least mobility. So for example, like, you know, a Zen, Ana, McCree, characters like that is your first like initial dive target. This is just because that since they are easy to go, easy to dive, it's a pretty free kill and then you can just, you know, go to the next one um, right afterwards. But keep in mind is 
if you do see one of the char uh, characters use their escape abilities, such as like a Widow Grapple, a Genshi Dash, those are also fine targets to go after, since if you take one of the DPS out of the fight, you probably most likely will win the engagement. So you are the team leader, so call a target, go with it, and you'll just keep learning from your mistakes, and in time you'll, you know, develop good decision making on what targets to go after every fight. So you want to keep in mind, like, you know, enemy holds, who is out of position, what their win condition is, and try and hinder their plan in some way, you know, choosing what, uh, what you want to dive on. So if the, the win condition is they have, you know, Nano Blade, then maybe you want to try and get on their Ana, or call the Ana while you try and focus their Genji, so they don't get, like, you know, those free ultimates off. So you're not going to be the best at it right in the beginning, but, you know, just keep learning from, you know, all your mistakes and what you're doing, and eventually you'll... Um, know what to do every single fight and you know who to go after and all that type of stuff so the next of Winston's abilities I'll be going over is his shield um, there's a lot of ways you can use this to use your bubble like effectively the first is to protect yourself after you just dove onto a target this also stops any incoming healing such as like on a nades shots abilities that can counter you such as like you know hook and just overall damage so after you you know jump on a target you can just put your bubble down while you're fighting it and as long as you're fighting with like in this space um you know you should be good to go for like the first little bit till it gets broken um, every time you dive is a different situation so you might not need to drop your bubble if it's an easy target to kill so you can save it for your next dive so let's say you know you're diving on a zen but he's all the way in the back by himself and there's nobody else around you can just you know sit there you know kill the zen while you're saving your bubble since you don't really need it and then you on the next engagement you you know have your bubble for the dive since it is a way longer cooldown than your jump so always be you know thinking about that do i really need to use my bubble at this time or can i save it for the um the next one don't just use it on like every jump that you do you can use your bubble to block a lot of ultimates such as like you know a shatter diva bomb high noon you know a doom pistol that you can put on like, the edge of it so which is why you want to make sure that you do use your bubble with the purpose so just think just keep in mind of you know if they have ultimates coming up that you can try and save your bubble for that those uh those abilities all right so the next and probably one of monkey's hardest abilities is his primal rage um, the first thing to do whenever you're gonna use primal rage is to communicate who you're going on with primal so your team knows not to follow up unless you do like you know knock them into a corner the worst thing you can do is call a target then primal without saying anything and then you're just knocking them around while your dps are trying to you know shoot them get that target when they could have easily just gone after a different target uh, while you're dealing at one with primal so you know for example if let's say you're trying to set up a dive like on a McCree or something and your genji is going to use blade and then you jump you primal and then you knock him freaking away so then genji doesn't get the reset so you know you always want to keep in mind when you're using primal let your team know um so they have an idea of you know when to go after a target or when to just uh swap targets and go to a different one um there's two ways that you can use this ultimate either offensively or defensively. I'd recommend whenever you have Primal, try and use it offensively. This can be done by going on aggressive flank behind them to get on their supports, engaging to knock people off the map, uh, baiting out ultimates, such as Zen Chance. All these are good ultimates. Uh, give your ultimate like the max value you possibly can since um, you're the one dictating what's going on and um, how you want to use it. So the next would be using your Primal defensively. Um, this can be used either, for example, like on an ulti Genji if you don't, if you know you don't have trance, just so you can knock him away so he gets zero value, or if you're about to die and the fight's, you know, still winnable. Um, even when you're forced to primal, still find a target, call it, let your team know, and stick to them. Don't just jump around like, you know, crazy, knocking freaking everyone away, but you're not actually doing like anything with your primal. So you want to try and get like the most value um, out of it. Uh, using Primal to stall on Koth is usually not a good idea, since you are just giving them free ult charge. Um, when you could just give it up and re-engage with Primal, so you can get the most value out of it. Learning to juggle is probably one of the most important things for like a Winston player, and separates you know the top tier Winstons uh, from the average Winstons. So it is super important. It takes time to explain, so I'll probably make a solo video um, on this, explaining how to juggle effectively and comboing and um, upload it shortly after this one. So I can just do like, you know, a quick thing. So when you jump, you want to you know, jump, knock, 
um, when, when you're trying to like, you know, jump on somebody, make sure that you have your jump up so you can, you know, follow up with the jungle. You don't just, you know, hit and jump at the same exact time um, unless your jump is up because otherwise you're just, you know, you just be locking around, being useless and um, not actually finishing up the targets. And, you know, there's always those instances where you knock somebody away and they get away because you didn't have your jump to be able to follow up. So I'll go, you know, explain how to do that and stuff um, in the next video just because I want to make sure that since that is like a the hardest topic that you know I can go into like full depth and explain it pretty well other than you know just that short demonstration there for uh, primal for the more advanced people that wraps up this basic guide on Winston um, as I said before I will upload that I'll make a Winston primal video really shortly and put that up for you guys I uh, hope you guys all enjoyed uh, this and learned something new if you have any other questions, feel free to ask me during one of my Twitch streams or on my Discord, which I'll leave in the description below. And I'll be happy to explain any questions there that you may have. Um, as always, thanks again for watching. And until next time, peace out, guys.